Hello guys and uh, what I'm going to do today is to show you another way of getting data from a database into a list box control and this is going to be through um, attaching the list to the database through a data adapter uh, the control zone data adapter so to demonstrate that shortly the first thing you obviously do is connect to your database inside of your application so here we have our smurfs smurfs database which we created in a previous tutorial and inside the smurfs table you'll see we've got three columns we've got the unique id which is a smurf id which is an integer and we've got the smurfs name and we've got the smurfs initials so first thing we want to do is to add our list box to our control sorry to our windows form next thing we need to do is to attach this list box to the database so we go to the top right hand side of the control to our little arrow click the arrow this is our list box tasks use data bound items make sure that's selected that gives you a couple of properties here one is the data source which is the link to the database so we add our data source so it's going to be the database click next the database is data set click next make sure you've got the correct database selected which is in our case the Smurfs database click next click next wait for the app to retrieve the tables drop your tables list down so we've got Smurfs now we can see our three columns we're going to retrieve all three and attach all three of those columns to our list box click finish display member well the display member is the uh, data column that you want to be displayed in your list so we want to display the names of the Smurfs in our list so we're going to select the names and the value member points to the column in the database where you want the values returned after you make a selection to come from so uh, we can make that the unique ID for the Smurf for the row that you select which will be the integer or we can make it the initials or any other column that we've got in the table so to demonstrate this we'll select initials and then we'll select our form to close down the tasks list okay we'll run for the moment just to show that this is working now we'll see all the Smurfs names inside our list box okay so that's all worked okay let's stop the application for a minute because we need to go one step further here just to show you what these um, display member and value member is actually doing okay so display member and value member remember that so uh, to see this in action what I'm going to do is add um, some additional controls I'm going to add a couple of text boxes uh, so you can actually see this working and you can see what's actually getting returned when we make a selection um, so I'll put a label in here and this is going to be um, this display member property value not valued what have I done cancel <gasps> make sure the label is selected which it is go down to uh, text where is it where is it where is it there we go text label one uh, display member display member okay let's repeat that twice so control C control V control V okay put one just below that one put another one just below that one blimey oh my god Bennett right select shift select you try and make life simple for yourself by copying and pasting and then just turn it into a whole total shambles so this wants to be the value member and as you can see again it didn't go in hell's teeth text 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 where are we where are we there we go value me member okay la 
last but not least let's not try and get clever hey? let's just make sure we've got text selected this time and this is going to be the selected value there we go value okay and this is text box one this is text box three and this is text box two let's move those around so they're in order so that's text box two and that's text box three cool okay so now what we need to do is we need to handle the uh, selected index changed event on the list box okay not interested in these labels clicks don't know where they've come from let's just build this and make sure we haven't actually buggered anything up rebuild okay so we've got the event handlers for those label clicks here so we don't want those so let's just remove those now from here from the designer save that close the designer down let's build that okay right okay where were we okay yes selecting the uh, sorry uh, handling the selected index changed event so in here we're going to populate our three text boxes now with the value members etc so you want text box one dot text equals list box one dot display member semicolon and then you want text box to oh, te test text box two dot text equals this box one dot and this one wants to be the value member semicolon and then the next one which is text box three dot text equals list box one surprise surprise but thus wants to be the selected value okay so this is um going to be a value so uh, it could be an integer okay so we're going to convert this to a string and then put some parentheses on the end of that and then wrap it up with a semicolon that is it so back to our form now when we run this um we'll see here that it, the, the value or sorry the uh, column header name where we're going to get the display members from which are the smurfs names what we'll see here is the column header name for where we want to get the values from which are going to be the smurfs initials and what we'll see down here will be the smurfs initials okay um, and that'll correspond here look display member the name of the column which so you'll see name appear up here and then value member initials so you'll see initials appear in here under value member so member member actually means column header name and then the value is the uh, value of the value member column which in our case as I already said is going to be hopefully the smurfs name so let's run her up and let's see if it does the business so whole hefty smurf okay select there we go so display member is name that's the column where we get the this data from value member initials which are it's the column where we're going to get the initials from and then obviously the selected value returned which is going to be the smurfs initials which for hefty smurf is hs or for vanity smurf vs okay um to show you it's not just a fluke we'll go back onto our task list here and we'll change the value member from initials to smurf id okay and then we'll run this again and now what you'll see when we make a selection is that the value member has become smurf id so the column header we're using now is the um, unique key column and the value that's getting returned is the unique key for that particular name okay very useful so quick i know short and sweet but useful handy to know hope you found it useful again one of my little quick tips and if you enjoy these tips remember to like and subscribe so uh, until the next one I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, take it easy guys, ta for now.